kama ninavyosema na ninarudia tena kusema kuwa bado vita vinavyoendelea pale uh, ukanda wa Gaza vita tushangaza kwa mengi na ndio maana uh, mpoki waga anasema yajayo hayafurahishi bali yatatushangaza na bado tunaendelea kushangaa kwa taarifa nyingi ambazo tunaendelea kuzipata kifupi uh, kuna ndugu yangu mmoja hapa nilitumia uh, voice note ya mwanamama aliyekuwa anaongea na nita iplay nitakuwekea hapa mwishoni hapa kwa sababu ameongea kwa Kiingereza lakini mimi naomba nichambue kidogo kwanza iki alichokiongea alafu mwishoni utamsikia wewe mwenyewe lakini kwa wale wanaosikia uh, na kuelewa lugha ya Kiingereza ndio utamuelewa zaidi na huyu mwana mama anasema kuwa uh, awa wazayuni wana walienda huko Malawi na kwa sababu Malawi tunajua vile nchi ilivyo kuna hali ya umasikini mkubwa sana Malawi kwa hiyo uh, awa wazayuni sasa wa watu wa Israeli wameenda pale na kumwambia rais wa Malawi kuwa uh, aite watu alafu watawafundisha na watawapa kazi na hii hii ni huyu ndugu yangu ananiambia ni kama wiki mbili tatu nyuma zimepita hasa watawafundisha uh, uh, afu wataenda kuwapa kazi kule Israeli kwa hiyo huyu sasa dada alikuwa anaonya hicho kitendo kuwa Serikali ya Malawi msikubali na hata wale wale ndugu zenu mkisikia wanataka kwenda Israeli wameambiwa kuna kazi msikubali kwa sababu sio kazi wakipelekwa kule wanapelekwa kwenda kuwa frontline kule kwenye uwanja wa vita ambako kule sasa yeye alichokiongea amesema hawa wazee wa Gaza wanawachinja vibaya mno hawa askari ambao ni askari wa Kiyahudi kwa sababu tunajua kabisa uelewe ninachomaanisha hapa tunajua kabisa kwenye mambo ya anga ah Israeli perfect kabisa na mambo ya ulinzi mifumo ya ulinzi ah yani taifa la Israeli kwa kweli ni perfect kabisa na kuna taarifa sasa sijui kama ni za kweli au ni kwa sababu vyombo vya habari ni vya kwao ndio maana wanaweza wakaongea chochote sijui lakini ah, wanadai kuwa mfumo bora wa ulinzi duniani ni iron dome ya Myahudi. Yaani ule ndo mfumo bora lakini tunajua kabisa Urusi hapo ana mifumo bora zaidi kuliko Israeli kwa sababu Urusi mpaka na mfumo ule unaitwa S underscore 550 S underscore 5 hiyo uh, 550 ambayo wanakuambia yenyewe ni mfumo wa kutungulia satellite achana na huo kuzuia tu makombora alafu <laughs> nakupiga ah ni mfumo huo wa kutungulia satellite lakini okay tu, tu, tuende na vyombo vya habari vinavyoongea kuwa uh, Israeli ni bora sana kwenye mfumo wa ulinzi wana mfumo bora sana ambao ni Iron Dome huku angani hatukatai lakini ukija ardhini huku unakutana sasa na wazee wa Gaza wazee hawa ambao wao wamekula <laughs> naitagaje zile nini zile tende wamekula tende wazee wa Gaza hawa hawana hawana mambo ya ushoga ushoga wazee wa Gaza hawa wao ambao wameshika ibani kweli kweli huku sasa huyu dada e, alichokiongea amesema hawa watu wana uawa hapo kwenye uwanja wa vita pale wakikutana na wazee wa Gaza nafikiri unaelewa tukisema hivyo <laughs> maana tunaongea kwa kodi kwa sababu sasa unajua hawa manyangao wakishughulikiwa sana na huku kwenye mitandao kitaja tu majina yao yale hivyo moja kwa moja unaona hapo hapo tayari wanakuambia ah hii tume inini tumeiondoa hii E, kidogo tena unasikia ah wewe bwana mbona una nini yani hawataki uonge ukweli watakuambia unasifia manyangao wakati unyangao ni nini unyangao ni kitendo hiki ambacho wao ndicho wanachokifanya kwa sababu kuwa nyangao ni, ni matendo hatumchukii mtu yeyote tutapasemaga manyangao watu wengine mbona mnachuki na na nini na wazungu wa Marekani au huku Ulaya no hatumchukii mtu yeyote sisi binadamu wote tumeumbwa na Mungu lakini Uh, mtume Muhammad aliwahi kuongea au msafu mtakatifu nasema 
hautatembea kwa kufuata nyayo za shetani. <coughs> Maana yake we mwenyewe utakuwa ni shetani tayari. Ndicho tunachokiongea, umeona? <laughs> na Yesu Kristo mwenyewe kwenye, kwenye kitabu cha Yohana pale nane arobaini na, na nne pale, anasema ninyi ni wababa yenu ibilisi kwa sababu ye ni muuaji tangu mwanzo. Na asema hapo huwa anaongea uongo kwa sababu yeye ni muuaji tangu mwanzo. Kwa hiyo hakuna mtu ambaye ni mtu mbaya. No, ila ubaya unakuja baada ya kuwa mtu ameamua kutembea katika njia za shetani. Ndio maana msafu mtakatifu anasema you shall not walk by following devil's step. Msafu mtakatifu naongee. Kwa ndicho tunachokiongea Hatuna chuki na Myahudi, hatuna chuki na Mwarabu, hatuna chuki na Mzungu, hatuna chuki na Mchina, Mhindi, Mjapa ni wala Mwafrika, ila tuna chuki na matendo yanayotendwa na watu ambao kwa namna moja ama nyingine wanakuwa wamejitambulisha wao wenyewe kwa ni watu wema, lakini nyuma ya pazia kuna mambo yanayoendelea. Kwa hiyo sasa huyu dada alichokuwa nakiongea alikuwa anasema kuwa kwa wakiwa train hawa sasa vijana kutokea Malawi na wakienda kule huko wanawapeleka kule kule Gaza kwa sababu askari wa Israeli wanakufa sana. Kwa wanawatafuta watu haraka haraka wa kuwa train mara moja na kuwapeleka kule mbele. <coughs> na nyinyi wenyewe ni mashahidi eh, kwa hilo kwa sababu alichokiongea naomba nimalizie alafu nitakwambia ushahidi ni kwa anasema nyinyi wenyewe ni mashahidi. Alichokuwa na kiongea alisema uh, population ya Waislamu inakuwa kwa speed sana. Kwa hiyo wanachotaka kukifanya ni kupunguza yani yani yani, yani ni katika zile harakati za kuondoa Uislamu. Ni katika harakati za kukandamiza Uislamu. Kwa hiyo wanataka wawatumie sasa hawa vijana huku wanaotokea huko Malawi kwenda pale hapo Gaza kwa ajili ya kuua wale Waislamu walioko pale. Lakini sio tu Waislamu na kuna Wakristo pia pale Palestina pia na wao pia vile vile wanauao. Lakini sio tu wa wa Wakristo wa, wa lakini pia kuna Wayahudi pia na wao pia wanauao ambao hawasupport hii hii hi, ideology yao ya uzayuni. Sijui kama unanielewa. Yaani yaani Muislamu anatakiwa aondoke. Mkristo pia pale Palestina anatakiwa aondoke. Lakini pia kuna Wayahudi pia ambao hawasupport aya uh, mambo ya kupigana vita aya mambo kuwa amani inatafutwa kwa vita amani inatafutwa kwa ngumi na mateke hawa support hiyo idea na wao pia vile vile wanatakiwa wafanyweje wanatakiwa waondolewe kwa hiyo ndugu zangu ndio maana nawaambia vita vinaendelea kuchukua taswira tofauti tofauti kwa hiyo dada akasisitiza akasema tafadhalini sana hata kama watu wana shida hebu msiwapeleke huko msifanye waende huko kwa sababu wakifika huko huko kutakuwa na mambo mengi ambayo kimsingi sio mambo mazuri kimsingi ni mambo ya ajabu kimsingi yaani wakifika kule jamani <laughs> najua aliongea ameongea kwenye hii clip nitakuwekea tutaisikiliza wala usiwe na haraka Aa, hasa kwa wale nimesema wale ambao wana zungumza lugha ya Kiingereza na wanaielewa lakini hata kama uielewi usijali hata kama kuna mtu pembeni au haya niliyoyaongea ndio aliyoyaongea yeye lakini nimesema nitaiweka kwa ushahidi zaidi kwa sababu watu wanataka ushahidi na nakumbuka siku ile niliposema na video basi na shukuru ndugu zangu ni wengi walikuja inbox wakaja hebu tutumie hiyo video tuione tutumie hizo video tuzione na nikawatumia na wao wenyewe wakashangaa kile kinachoendelea pale Gaza kwa sababu watoto wanakufa na nini wanakufa. Sasa nikasema hivi nyinyi wenyewe mtakuwa ni mashahidi nimekuwa nikiongea hapa kuhusiana na serikali ya Afrika Kusini ambavyo imekuwa ikiwaamuru raia wake wale waliopitia mafunzo kule alafu wamepelekwa Gaza imewaamurisha warudi nyumbani na waache mara moja hiyo kazi. Kwa sababu Umasikini huu ambao huko huko Afrika ndio ambao sasa wanateke advantage hawa wazayuni kuchukua vijana wetu na kuwapeleka. Ukumbuke pia vita ni mpango mkakati pia wa kuriduce population duniani. Vita ndio maana unaona watu wana support vita. Yaani yani vita vinavyotokea kwa watu wengine ni faida. Kuna watu wanauza silaha kwa sababu vita pia ni biashara. Kuna watu pia wana mashirika haya kama NGOs lakini ni mashirika haya ya u- ukarimu. Kwa hiyo manake watapata fedha lakini pia ni mpango wa ibilisi, ni mpango wa shetani kwa ajili ya kupunguza idadi ya watu duniani. Hasa ndao hao wameanza kuja huku na kuchukua vijana wetu wakisema kuwa tunaenda kuwapa kazi kule alafu wakifika kule wanapewa mafunzo ya kijeshi 
na kwenda kupigana ndio maana huyu dada akawa na waasa kutoka Malawi na sio Malawi tu na maeneo mengine mengi kama tuliona kama Afrika Kusini namna ambavyo watu walivyokuwa wanaongea na picha tuliwahi kuona pia za watu weusi wenzetu wakiwa wako wamevalishwa zile gwanda na wanapelekwa kule Gaza ni kwa sababu Wayahudi ni wajanja wanataka kuepusha vifo vya askari zao lakini wawapeleke vijana hawa kutokea huko Afrika ndio wawapeleke kule front line kwa sababu kule hawa wazee wa Gaza hawana utani wazee wa Gaza wanaua vibaya mno wazee wa Gaza hawa wamejitolea kufa kwa ajili ya kulinda ardhi yao sasa uh, mimi niwe nimefika mwisho mpaka hapo lakini hebu twende basi tuisikilize hii klipu ya huyu mwanadada anavyoongea hii hapa Good afternoon beloved people. I'm sending you this message so that please you can be able to to share it because it's very important, it's crucial, it's a matter of life and death. The Zionists, the Israelis are recruiting people in Malawi because people in Malawi have got no jobs, are poor and they are looking for opportunities. So they got the president to call his people to send them to Israel. Israel is a death trap. Hamas is slaughtering their soldiers like there's nobody's business. A lot of Israeli soldiers have died. It's almost it's it's for about 3000 in 48 days. They lost 3000 soldiers if not more. So please I'm telling you guys do not allow your brothers to go to Israel. These guys is not out to give them any other job they are going to send them to fight hamas and they are, they won't be well trained they will just be slaughtering them the main objective is to kill islam in malawi because islam is growing at a rapid pace in malawi and they are also killing muslims they'll be using the malawians to kill muslims in malawi in palestine and they are not only killing muslims they are also killing christian uh, palestinians and their own jewish people who are not subscribing to their own ideology of zionism so please my brothers from malawi spread this message do not allow your brothers or or fathers to go to malawi please whoever gets this message must send it to other malawian people that you know they must send it to their malawian people back home to tell them not to go to israel the only weapon you have is to say no because once you signed that form and you are on the aeroplane you can't do anything you are going to die you won't come back if you have to come back they will kill you because if you are going to come back you are going to populate africa and it is already their mission to 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 reduce their population of africa so please my brothers make sure you don't go to israel don't allow your poverty to be your death don't allow your poverty to lead you to your death because this is just not going your kids will be crying and you won't be coming back it will be the last time you see them so please 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 Do not yes please please do not go to Israel I'll also advise others not to take up this opportunity it's not an opportunity it's a death trap thank you